Thank you for tuning in to Right Where You Are. My name is Rita Boston, I'm your host. We were experiencing technical difficulties and many of you were listening. We thank you for coming back on, tuning back in with us. My guest today is Vanessa Slack. Come on, Vanessa Slack. Hello, how are how you? How are you? I'm doing good. God thank bless you. you. Thank you so much. You are engaging in something that is very territorial. Yes, it is. Yes. And that's the territory of the Holy Ghost. Amen, amen. You're having a conference. And yes. what is that conference? The conference it starts on August the 30th, on a Wednesday. Mm -hmm. And this we, this is our fifth annual Holy Ghost conference. Yes. Fifth annual Holy fifth. Ghost conference. Five means grace, you know. Amen, that's right. I, that that means grace. So <laughs> God has given us grace. We're going to do this fifth annual Holy mm -hmm. Ghost conference. It starts... April, I'm saying April, it starts August 30th. Yes, yes. That's all right, we bind you, Satan. <laughs> August 30th. August 30th. And we will have our workshop okay. starting at 5 o'clock that okay. same day, starting with a workshop. Okay. Uh, we will have workshops every night. Okay. Uh, August 30th, the 31st, and September 1st. Okay. Uh, we're looking forward to a high time. This is just something that's near and dear to my heart, and yeah. I'm just excited about it. So, you know, we'll be here all day long if you want to stay now. Look, let me tell you, <laughs> if you start at 5 o'clock, you start the workshops at 5 o'clock. The night service starts at 7. Okay, when you start that night service, you're going to start with praise and worship, and then you're going to have some phenomenal speakers out here. Yes, yeah, so Who we start out, actually, we're going to start out, you know, we of course, prayer is always in order. The prayer warriors will yes. be here. They take the prayer on in. They're going to put up the praise team. Yes. The praise team will take us up. We're going to have the choir. Amen. The Holy Ghost Conference Choir is going to be singing every night. Mm -hmm. They'll take us to the next level. But we have some awesome speakers that are coming every night. Okay. Uh, we have Dr. William Adams. Dr. William Adams. That's from Pastor Bishop Drew Church. Church yes. is going to come yes. from Grady Emanuel Institutional. Yes. This man is an awesome man of God. You yes. don't want to miss him, I'm telling you. I mean, he's, uh, he's awesome. I mean, he's on point, and that's yes. what I love. I love real people. And we also have on Thursday night, Prophetess Peggy Bustle from New Resurrection Ministry. And as I said when we were talking, she is an end-time yes. prophetess. Yes. I mean, she's prophesying end-time. She's real. Yes. No holes barred. Wow. She don't sugarcoat, wow. and I love her. Yes. I just love her. And on Friday, we have Bishop Michael Hill mm -hmm. from Kingdom International, who I've been knowing for many, many years. An awesome bishop, awesome man of God. He's yes. humble, and that's yes. what I love. Yes. Just because he's the bishop, he's not so where you can't get to him. He's a humble man of God. Yes. And we're looking forward to these speakers. Wow, wow. Yes. Yes. Holy Ghost Conference. Yes. My guest today is the evangelist, new appointed, Vanessa Slack. We're over here at the powerhouse of the East Side, yes. New Christ Temple. That's one zero 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 one Hayes. Yes, and we are gearing up for a Holy Ghost conference. Yes, going to be Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday night. Yes, yes. Three phenomenal speakers. Yes, beginning with workshops at five o'clock, seven o'clock. The service will begin. What kind of workshops will you be at? Well, we're going to be looking at, first of all, doing an altar workers workshop. So mm -hmm. we could be with one accord on the altar. When yes. seekers come, we could be with one accord. Yes. We just want to be together with yes. one accord. Praise and worship workshop. Yes. And the other one is going to have to be a surprise because yes. we're not exactly sure about that. But, you okay. know, we're, um, but we we always have a workshop. Right, if right. I have to do one myself, we're going to right, do a workshop. Right, right, so right. every night will be filled. Hopefully my pastor will do a workshop because yes. he's awesome. But I'm just looking forward to um, the workshops yeah. will kind of set the, the atmosphere, mm -hmm. set you up to ask questions that may not be answered in your local services. Mm -hmm. You can talk freely. Uh, there's no charge for the workshops. Mm -hmm. Just come in Great. and be a part of the workshop. Take material away that you can even share yeah. in your own local ministry. Yes, yeah. yes, it's going to be awesome. So if you've just tuned in, you're tuned in to right where you are. My guest today is uh, evangelist, missionary, Vanessa Slack, and we are at the powerhouse of the east side. Yes. New Christ Temple, 10001 Hayes yes. in Detroit, Michigan. Yes. Listen, if you're looking for some place to take your children to um, be blessed, yes. to have hands laid on them before school starts yes. back, yes. school is starting back in a couple of weeks, yes. this Holy Ghost Conference is in its fifth year. Yes. You need to make your way over here. Yes. Tell us why and how this all started. You said you went to your 
former pastor of Shed yes. with us. I went to my former pastor, Pastor Lawrence Upshaw Sr., mm -hmm. and I went to him actually in 2012. Mm -hmm. And I talked to him, I said, you know, Pastor Lord, put in my spirit to have a Holy Ghost yeah. conference. And he said, well, why don't you do it? You know, I'm working with the evangelist department. He didn't tie my hands, he said, do it. So a little later on that year in April, the Lord took him on suddenly. Right, right, right. The church went into a spiral. I mean, he was an awesome man of God. Yes, Nobody yes, wanted to yes. do anything. Right. I felt like I didn't want to do anything. I didn't want to talk. I didn't want to do anything, let alone a Holy Ghost conference. So I didn't want to do anything. <laughs> But what happens, uh, the Lord blessed Elder Upshaw yeah. Jr. Mm -hmm. to take the mantle of his father and yes. go on. He was appointed pastor in August of 2012. Yes. So what happens when Pastor Upshaw Jr. took it on, I went to him and I said, I talked to your father about doing a Holy Ghost conference. Yes. And he simply said to me, do it. That's beautiful. And when he said do That's it, beautiful. I said, yes, sir, you know, I love, mm -hmm. I'm, a, I'm obedient to leadership. Right. He said, do it. So I had no components to it. It was just the Holy Ghost Conference. Wow. That was all. And I know that God <laughs> does things, you know, he's an right. uh, order God. Right. And God does things. He may give you the idea. And I pondered over it, but mm -hmm. I really didn't know where it was going. Mm -hmm. I didn't know how big God wanted it to be. Right. So one morning I was in bed, and I, I, I leaped up, and it was early, so I had to wait to call my pastor. And I called him, and I said, God said for us to cross all racial barriers denominational mm. barriers and bring in people that are going to be a blessing to my people. Right. So I told him that he said, do it. He said, God said, do it, do it. Just like he said. And we've been able to bring in p pastors and uh, prophetess. We've been able to bring people in from different denominations. Mm -hmm. We're not about denomination. Right. We want people to be saved, delivered, set free and baptized with the Holy Ghost. Yes. So what happens if it means that, Somebody of another denomination is going to come in here and minister. That's mm -hmm. what God wants. And that's right. what we did. And we've been blessed every year. Every wow. year we have this been blessed. This is year number five. Number five, yes. So what is it that you want people to take away when they leave from this conference, this Holy Ghost conference? The main thing you want them to take away with them is what? The main thing I want people to take away is to be filled with the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. So many people come to God, and they're just satisfied when they yeah. come to God. Yeah. They come to God, and Lord, save me. Yeah. And that's wonderful. That's what we mm -hmm. want to see. Right. But right. people are not living to the fullest when they have not received the that's indwelling right. That's right. of the Spirit of God, which is the Holy Ghost. That's right. That same Spirit of God will lead you and guide yeah. you into all truth. Amen. Yeah. He will tell you, no. He will say, go right when yeah. you want to go left. He will lead you and guide you. Yeah. That same Spirit before you got saved, yeah. he won't allow you to curse people out. Right. He won't allow you to fight. He won't right. allow because the Spirit of God says, "No, you belong to me now." Yes. So you're holy. And what happens? God, uh, uh, He speaks to you, mm -hmm. and it's a, a, a small, still voice. Yeah. And you wonder, why did I do that? Because God said, "Don't do it." Right. And it's just a wonderful thing when you can feel the presence of God. And I want people to take that away when they come to the Holy Ghost Conference. That, you know, regardless to what you're going through, we're not here. It's not about coming to my church and join. I just want you to be blessed. Mm -hmm. I want people to come and see the move of God, how we've been experiencing the move of you, God. What you need and go back home. Come, that's all right. That's all right. If you want to stay, you can. But, you know, just in case. Now, no, you I'm have a church on, home, you right. can. Right. 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 The doors are open. Yes. The, oh, yes. The doors right. are open. We will receive you. Yes. But yes. we want the children to be, be yes. blessed. We want the parents to be blessed. Yes. We have those that have been filled with the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. And revival really is designed for the saints. That's that right. That they will come back and get replenished. We have some that have been filled with the Holy Ghost who have not felt the presence of God for a long time. Come on, you better say oh, that. it's a bad feeling. And it's, if you've been in a dry place, you haven't been able to feel God, it's a bad feeling. Refresh. Don't ever want to be there. Mm. You don't ever, you want, wow. When you come into the house of God, you ought to want to feel his presence every time you walk yes. in this building. Yes. Every time you're anywhere. That's I can right. access the presence of God at home. Right. But when I come together with all the saints of God, we're all in one place with one accord, singing, praising God together. Yes. Some things happen here. Some awesome things happen. You say some things are happening. Share with me what happened. You said a gentleman came to your church and joined your church. Will you share that with us? Gentleman came in a few, uh, maybe about a month and a half, two months ago. And he came in. You could tell he had been, you know, like less fortunate. He came in. Mm -hmm. He sat at the back. Mm -hmm. He was walking on a cane. He was walking, taking a few steps at a time. Mm -hmm. So our pastor preached that Sunday, and he brought an awesome word. And what happens, what struck my attention is when this man 
when the altar call was made, Pastor said, anyone that wants prayer, mm -hmm. anyone that needs to be saved, anyone that wants to be delivered, anyone that needs healing, mm -hmm. this man came and laid prostrate out on the altar, wow. right on his belly. He laid out. <laughs> so the pastor went to him when prayer Ooh, was going to be. I'm yes, sorry. I'm, I'm it's sorry. awesome. It's awesome because you don't see that. Woo! You do not see yes. that. Now, people were sitting around probably trying to figure out what was going on. You right. know, I didn't know, but I mean, you come lay out. It's free, you know. That's what it's for. That's right. The pastor grabbed him by the hand. He kind of uh -huh. lifted him up a little bit. Mm -hmm. He said, what did you need from the Lord, brother? He said, God told me to come here that the elders of the church can lay hands on me that I can receive my sight. Mm. He was blind in one eye. And what I saw that day, that man praised God. After the prayer, he praised God. And pastor said, I believe God with this brother that he's going to receive his sight. Yes, yes. That following Tuesday, two days later, mm -hmm. We were in prayer and Bible bed. That brother came in church and stood up by five seats back and testified. He said, God gave me my sight back in my eye. That man has been rejoicing in the services. Mm. He, he, he praised God harder than we do. You know what I'm telling right. But I'm just so happy for him. He has brought so much joy to the church. Mm. Uh, brother Day, he just brought so much joy to the church. He is full of excitement. Mm. He comes in. He said, you're supposed to enter into his gates with thanksgiving. That's right. I said, yes, into his courts with praise. So he has brought so much excitement and joy to the church. And I just thank God because we saw healing right just like that. So you're doing a Holy Ghost conference. One thing about the Holy Ghost, when the Holy Ghost comes, he speaks. Yes, he will. You were saying that you brought this conference and you named it the Holy Ghost Conference. Why did you name it the Holy Ghost Conference? I named it the Holy Ghost Conference because I want to see people actually feel. Right. We have people, like I said, that are in the church. They're beautiful, and I'm glad. But one thing I found out, that you cannot stay saved long without the Holy Ghost. Say you won't last. You won't last. I'm telling you. you will, it's not the energizer money. You will Ooh, not last. You won't last. You cannot stay Lord. saved long without the Holy Ghost. Mm. You will find yourself repenting all the time. Lord, yes. forgive me. I, oh, I slipped. I'm sorry. I mm. did this. You will always find. The Word of God, He will keep you. The Holy Ghost will keep you. Wow. The Word says, now unto Him who is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the throne of His grace with exceeding joy. Yes, He will. He will keep you. I see, I'm getting excited. I'm no, that's a good thing. I'm getting no, ahead of myself. I'm no, 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 myself. go ahead. But I'm excited. You talk about a Holy Ghost conference. Yes. How can you go to a Holy Ghost conference and, and, not, and you drag? <laughs> you I, mean, I mean, the people watching will be like, I don't think I want to go to her conference. <laughs> she too drag. My conference oh, will be like her. So, so what so you're excited. seeing right yes, here just is just a lick in the bowl oh, wow. of what you'll get wow. at the Holy Ghost conference. Yes, yes. Now, the Holy Ghost conference is is... You got speakers. Yes. You're going to have singing. You're yes. going to have workshops. Yes. You want everybody that come to come as they are. Yes. But not to leave like they can. That's it. That's it. You, you can come like you are, but we don't want you to leave the same way that you came. Be and it's not about what you're wearing. It's about the, yes. it's a heart thing. Yes. It's a heart thing. You know, we have people that said, you know, I was going to do this, but I changed my mind. Right. Oh, that's what we want to see when you get here. Yeah. We want to see that I was depressed, but I changed right. my mind. I was going to move out of state, but the Lord said stay. We had a young man that happened to him too. Wow. God Good. told him, he said he was going to move out of state, but the Lord told him to stay here and work with this ministry. He worked with the wow. pastor. A little later on, God sent him, but he had a mission here first. Yes. And I praise God. He's a missionary. He's out of state right now working. He's a missionary. And He's God actually working, working for his, God, for his journey. He had to receive something first. Yes. He had it in his heart, but he had to get it. You know what I'm saying? His spirit first. And I thank God for I thank God for this ministry because this is a ministry that's moving forward. We say yes. our pastor said that God gave him the ministry of another chance. Yes. Uh, New Christ Temple Church of God of Christ, mm. the ministry of another chance. So many people, when you fall out with them, they was like, Oh, that's your last chance. That's right. It. But God is a God of another chance. Mm. Every, every time we disappoint God, we fall. He don't just cast us away. Right. You know, so this is a ministry of another chance. Some people have no hope. Mm -hmm. We want you to feel hope when you come here. Mm -hmm. We want you to feel energized when you come here. When you come here, we want you to walk through those doors and say, whoa, when you walk through the door. We want you to be so pumped up. 
when you leave here, you know. We want the service to get out, and people are still rejoicing when services is discussed. Right. That happened years ago. Yes. But see, we want th that glory cloud to come back to the church. There we go. We want it to come back go into on. the church. And I know somebody might say, what is the glory cloud? Tell them what the glory cloud what is. What is the glory cloud? Come on, missionary. As I was a little girl, uh -huh. when I was a little girl, I heard the saints say, yes. oh, the glory cloud is here. And I yes. kept saying, where? Where is the glory cloud? Where? 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 What are they talking about? Where is it? I don't know what they're talking about. But what happens, um, I would see the saints when they would be praising God all mm -hmm. together with one place. Look like yes. it seemed to me that everybody was praising God together, yeah, yeah, just yeah. the whole place. Mm -hmm. And when you, I found out when you come together that great things can happen. Mm -hmm. Even as a child, I knew that. So I knew that it was something going on, but I wasn't. I didn't place. feel it. Lord, okay. I want to feel what they're talking about. Mm -hmm. I want to see the glory cloud. I would see the saints when the presence of God would come into the building. They would be rejoicing and crying. Some would wipe their eyes because they said they said there was a cloud, a mist in. The, and that's the presence of God walking through the mm. eyes. That's actually God dwelling in here. And I said, I can't see it. I, I can't see it. And what happens, as I got older and I began to understand what the Holy Ghost, wh who he is, he is the spirit of God that dwells in, inside of us. You really messed me up, girl. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Oh, Jesus. The spirit of God that dwells in the inside Ooh. of us, God's presence. Yes. Presence dwelling in me. In. So that's a part of me. And mm -hmm. That's a part of him in me. Yes. I'm talking about the word in me. Yes. God in me. Mm -hmm. When I found out and I received the baptism of the Holy Ghost, I was in a service in this very building mm -hmm. and we were in revival. I believe Mother Upshaw read a revival mm -hmm. or one Sunday. I, it's, it's happened a few times. But this particular time I remember because mm -hmm. what happens, We it, there were no lights out. The yeah. lights were on, but I was wiping my eyes. It was dim. I said, oh, that's the glory cloud. It was a fog in the place. Yeah. And people will say, oh, no, no. There was a mist and a fog in the church. It was so thick, and people were just praising God. It's mm -hmm. like when you lift your hands, you can feel God actually touching you back. When you actually touching your fingers, you can feel it. And I mm -hmm. experienced the glory cloud for myself. That's what I want to see in this Holy Ghost conference every night. I want to see the glory cloud in this place. I want to see people slain in the spirit. I want to see people come in and leave out with the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Yes. You make me want to the floor now. <laughs> Excuse me, y'all. No, let me stop. <laughs> but if you just tuned in, you're tuned in to right where you are. My yes. guest today is evangelist, newly appointed district missionary, Vanessa Slack. Wow. We're over at the powerhouse of the East Side, yes. New Christ Temple, the address is 10001 right. Hayes. Hayes yes. And we're here and we're talking to her about the Holy Ghost Conference. Yes. It's going to begin August 30th. Yes. It's going to be all, which is a Wednesday night. Right. It's going to begin 5 o'clock workshop. Yes. 7 o'clock service. Now, you're going to have a different speaker every night. Yes. But you're going to have workshops pertaining to praise and worship. Workshops pertaining to uh um, altar work. Altar yes. work. Right. And you're going to be selling books yes. um, from our um, our beloved evangelist, yes. Cornelius Burr. Yes. Now that you're saved, yes. what do you do what now? Do now? He's went on to be with the Lord. Yes. But you're going to sell those books so people can still get that good foundation. We still want, right. We want to honor him because he was a part of our evangelist team. Yes. Here. And he was a man that loved people. And we had uh, yes. talked about the evangelist team, what we wanted to do. Yes. And, you know, we always say, oh, we want El yes. Evangelist Bird to do this. Yes. Because he loved souls. He yes. loved, he wanted he to see people set free and delivered. Yes. He loved souls. He was yes. an awesome preacher, awesome man of God. Yes. And we yes. want to honor him, you know, yes. just with that part. You know, but God is, you know, all, God is to be praised, mm -hmm. you know, saying with, on all things. Yes. Uh, you know, I just really... Um, like I said, I just really, I'm, I'm excited about it because mm -hmm. this is my heart. Yes. It's, it's my heart. The Holy Ghost. It's, he's, it's, it's my heart. Mm. And when, you know, when I, anything that I have ever been a part of, I always put my all in it. Yes. When I worked on my job, I put my all in it. Yes. I, I, if I was at work and I got sick, I would tell them, let me go home because I don't want to get paid for doing nothing. Mm. I, just let me go home because I, it's not fair, you know. I'm taking your money. I'm sick. Let you me say go home. all or nothing. Right. Just, you know, and I gave it my all. So being wow. in ministry here, wow. I give it my all. Every time I come and I'm over the evangelist department, I give it my all. 
The pastor works with the evangelist department. Department. Right. Evangelist Patricia Paul, she works with the evangelist yes, department. Yes. And she's a, she's a fireball by herself. Yes, yes. And I thank God that yes. we work together as a people of God. The first lady, Stephanie Upshaw, she works on yes. the evangelist department. These mothers, they join in. You know, yes. that's what I'm talking about. It's not me, 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 I, I. It's us. And we're working together to see New the body Christ of Christ. That's it. We're working together to see people delivered, yes. healed, set free, and wow. filled with the Holy Ghost. That's what we want. That's yes. what we want. This is an awesome thing, I tell you. If you want to be in a service, you want your children in the service, prior to them going back to school, yes. that will have them covered. Yes. Come, let them be covered in this glory cloud. Yes. The glory cloud is going to be here. Yes. She has an expectation. Yes. She has uh, the, 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 the setup in the spirit yes. for it to happen. And also, you were mentioning something about something you wanted to do yes. that you want people to do um, in conjunction with this. Yes. Going to the different schools. What yes. was that? You know, the Lord dropped in my spirit. Uh, you know, we were talking about prior to this, mm -hmm. prior to that that you're talking about, I'll mm -hmm. touch on that. Okay. But prior to that, we were having a back to school anointing musical, okay. which follows that same Holy Ghost conference that yes. Sunday evening at 6 o'clock p.m. here. Yes. That's the Sunday before Labor Day. Yes. Now, our children go back to school after Labor Day. After Labor Day. So what we want to do is have a back-to-school anointing musical. Okay. So during the Holy Ghost Conference, mm -hmm. in the prayer, yes. with the praise and worship, the mm -hmm. speakers coming forth, there will be bottles of blessed oil that be aligned across yes. the altar. Yes. Yes. And our pastor, the prayer warriors, will be praying over this oil. The speakers here, the glory yes. cloud, the, the oil will be anointed. Yes. And that way, when the children go back to school, on that night of that musical, mm -hmm. have many guests, uh, soloists, groups, choirs, mm -hmm. on that night, our pastor and the, the evangelist team is going to anoint the children and give them a bottle of blessed oil so okay. that when they go back to school. Now, we're not giving our school supplies. Okay. We're going to do that the weekend before, okay. the 26th of August. But we're not doing school supplies. Your, your children not will be during the Holy Ghost. Conference. Not during the Holy Ghost conference. That's the week before. The week, weekend before. The weekend before. But this Sunday night, when we have the back to school music, yes. this is a spiritual thing. Yes. We want to cover your children in the blood of Jesus. We yes. want to cover them. Yes. We want them to know before you go to school, pray, anoint yourself with yes. oil that God will cover our children mm -hmm. when they walk to school. Yes. There's so much going on in the streets. Sex trafficking. Mm -hmm. Children are being kidnapped. We want God to protect yes. our children everywhere. Everywhere. Not just my children, your children. Mm -hmm. Everybody's children. We want so their God color. everywhere. That's it. God and everywhere. And so, yes, I'm telling Ooh. you, send, take the Lord along with you. The <laughs> word of God, you can send the word everywhere. Yes. And so what happens, um, mm. I got so excited. I told them about the missionary conference last, last yes. week that uh, when I said something about Labor Day, and the Spirit of the Lord said, Labor Day, give it a true, make it a true Labor Day. Mm. Give it, do some labor. And I said, okay, you know, I didn't know really what he was saying there. Right. He said to tell all the saints of God yeah. everywhere. So I'm saying to everyone watching today that I hope you send this to everybody that you know. Because on Labor Day, on. September 4th, mm -hmm. on Monday, at 9 o'clock in the morning, on the international holiday, Labor Day, mm -hmm. at 9 o'clock in the morning, God said to me to tell the people wow. to get your spray bottle, mm -hmm. put blessed oil in it, and walk around the grounds of every school in your neighborhood. You might go to this school, somebody else is at this school. Simultaneously, all over the United States, everywhere, which is this is going to reach everywhere. Yes. It's reaching everywhere. It's going to reach. It's reaching everywhere. It's it reaching. is. It's done. It's done. It's done. Everywhere. That at 9 o'clock in the morning, everywhere in the school in your neighborhood, that you would get a spray bottle, yes. put your anointed oil in there, and walk around and pray around and set the, the para, around the parameter of schools and pray. Mm -hmm. If we come together as one, yes. the word of God said to Solomon, uh -huh. if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves, pray, seek Ooh. my face, and turn from their wicked way, come he on. said, then will I heal from heaven. Then. He said, then, but you got to do something first. Right. He said, I will forgive their sins and I will heal their land. Our land is in trouble. Yes, it is. Our land yes. is in trouble. Our children are in trouble. Yes. If we don't do something to help our children right mm -hmm. now, they're our future. And yes. those cho I love the children. They are, I mean, these children, are, we don't know who they're going to be. Maybe the next president of the United States. Mm -hmm. Might be the next bishop. We don't know who mm -hmm. our children are going to be. But we want to cover our children mm -hmm. everywhere. And I know you might say, I don't have any children in school. All of my children are grown. Mm -hmm. I don't have any grandchildren. Mm -hmm. But guess what? Your children and your grandchildren are my children. 
That's right. I have great nieces and nephews. All these children are mine. And it takes a village. That's it. And that's what we want to do yes. as a people. Yes. So I ask everybody to share it. Share it. We're going to be letting everybody mm -hmm. know everywhere. If we all would get together. And you know, of course, me, I started acting like Moses. Well, Lord, you know, I can't walk good. I can't walk far, you know, because I have an injury. He said, your husband can walk. You have a car. So all excuses are taken away. You know what I'm saying? You drive down the street and yes. you walk. Like Moses, like, Lord, you know, I don't speak good. I stutter. You, you got a brother that can speak. So he said, you got a husband. You got a car. So I can drive around the street. I can do something. Right. I said, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. God is awesome. You know that? He is. And he speaks yeah. to you in a way that you, God don't speak to you like you're, you know, a scientist. He speaks to you he on you your... Right where you are. Right. He, that's, girl, this show. I'm right telling where you, you are. Right where you are. And that's right why you are here. <laughs> <laughs> that's why you're here today. Because I'm telling you, this is... We have had a time trying to get this happening. <laughs> this is really been something happening. Wow. Wow. This is awesome. I'll tell you wow. what God, what God. And I'm so excited. This Holy Ghost Conference yes. is going to be awesome. Yes, I believe it. I believe it. The conference is going to be awesome. Yes. you got Adams coming. Yes. What's the lady that's Prophet coming? Bustle coming. Prophet Peggy Bustle. Bustle. And, and you got Bishop a bishop coming. coming. Oh, my goodness. And, and you got workshops. Yes. 5 o'clock every yes. evening, yes. 7 o'clock. And then Prayer. that's going to be Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Yes, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And also, there would be the Holy Ghost Conference Choir singing every night. Yes. And what we want to do is share with everyone. Uh, our son is going to be putting some information up. Gregory Slack Jr., you're going to be putting mm -hmm. up information. That's a Holy Ghost Conference Choir. We're going to ask you all to come. That You want, you love to sing? Yes. You want to sing? And you're going to need a seat, so you better get a seat in the choir stand because the whole sanctuary is right. going to be jam-packed. What about those people? Play instruments. And those that play instruments, you might play a horn, you might play a piano. Come and join in with our musicians, and we're going to have a Holy Ghost Conference choir mm -hmm. and a Holy Ghost Conference musicians team that's, all, that's, yes. that's out of this world. And so we're going to be posting at least two choir rehearsals yes. because it's getting here, it's coming fast. Yes. Just so we can come together and blend together the songs yes. that we're going to sing in the Holy Ghost Conference. And we want to have our Holy Ghost Conference choir. If you just want to come and share with us every night and just sing, just come and be a part of it. Just to be in this service. And I'm telling you, wow. you better be here on time. You have to be here on time. Because I'm telling you, some great things are going to happen here. They are. Ooh. It's happening right now. She's decreeing yes. and she's declaring. Yes. Yes. I wish you could see her face up close. <laughs> you know, when people have an expectation and there's an anticipation, yes. That's what's right here. I love it. She's expecting that glory cloud. Yes. She's expecting that when the singing goes forth, yes. people are going to be healed. Yes. People are going to be delivered. Yes. People are going to be set free. Yes. People are going to be renewed. Yes. People are going to be refreshed. Yes. Yes. You are so excited that every time you start talking about it, you can't see what I see. What you see, wow. And every time you do it, I start laughing. Yes. Because yes. you're like, you ever seen somebody, they be like, oh, this is for me. Yeah, yeah. This is for me. <laughs> oh. You're like, supposed like, to be excited about this conference. Oh, right. God. This is for me. This is for me. This is for you're me. You're excited this is for me. that heaven is coming down. Oh, my Lord. He's, yes. he's met you. Yes. And we were talking, and we were talking about how when you get something that's really good. Right, right. You know, we find a good restaurant, right? Yeah. We, Girl, you got to go, gotta go here to Restaurant go. C. Right, right. Because right. if you go to Restaurant C, girl, right, right, right. oh, it is just all that. You tell everybody. So what you we going to do about the Holy Ghost? We're going to tell the Holy Ghost Conference. We're going to tell everybody because I'm excited. Come on. So I'm going to tell everybody. And you know what? I hope this excitement jumps off on you. And you're going to go tell everybody, girl, this lady was so excited. Let's go over here and see what's going on. Let's go over here to this church. You know, I wish the evangelist team was here. They'd be jumping around. I want you to come and see us. Come on. You know, I'm telling you, you know, that's what it does. Excitement breeds yes, excitement. It does. And when you're over something or you're working with something, yes. you should be excited about yes. what you're in. Yes. You should be excited about it. It's a poor frog that doesn't praise his own plumber. My mother said that years ago. I didn't understand what she meant, but I do now. And if you're <laughs> excited about where you are, yes. you're going to talk about it. You will. You will. And you so can share with everybody. Come over to the powerhouse of the East Side. Yes, yes. Powerhouse of East Side is New Price Temple. It's located at one zero 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 one Hayes. Yes. Where the pastor is Pastor Lawrence Upshaw Jr., the newly appointed superintendent of the Agape Jurisdictions Impact District. Impact District. Ooh. And who's their missionary? 
Uh, yours truly. That would be <laughs> None the other person, than Vanessa Slack. None other than me. So uh, this is new. This is uncharted territory. But you know what? We're going to do the work. I think that you're saying it's uncharted. It's uncharted in so much that you're going to bring in the charter of the Holy Ghost oh, and charter it back to the way God wanted yes, it to be. Yes. I think the impact district is going to catapult yes. and impart and bring back the spirit of revival. Oh, yes. I because you know what? Our bishop's desire has been that every district meeting would be like a revival. Yes, yes. You're starting it out. You just took your assignment. Right, right. And you're starting out with the Holy Ghost Conference. Yes. So the residue and the oh, impartation from the conference is flow. going to flow over yes. to Impact flow. District. Yes. When you all have your first meeting, yes. it's about, you know, when you have an iPhone, it has a thing on there where you can put, boom! <laughs> Y'all going to do a oh, boom! All right, I received And that, that's an yes. impact. Yes, it is. And so impact has to be made yes. by and through mm -hmm. the Holy Ghost. Yes. Because, see, we can impact things and then it'll, right, right. The like Holy you say, Ghost when you get saved, yes. you, you'll fall off, right? Right, that's right. But when the Holy Ghost makes he'll impact. He'll keep you, he will keep you, yes. And everybody will know it. That's the thing go. about Come it. On. Everybody will know. Once a person has received the baptism of the Holy Ghost, there's a change that comes over you. I heard the song that said years ago, I looked at my hands, they look new. Right. I looked at my feet and they did too. Yes. And I didn't understand that. But there's a newness in you. A yes. new, and people, you know, people told me, I know you were filled with the Holy Ghost because I can see it. I can see the, the glow of God. Right, right. right. You can see the glow. Right, right, right. And right. people know there's a change right. in you. Yes. They know it's something different about you. There's a radiant glow yes. of the Holy Spirit yes. that yes. It, it implodes mm -hmm. you, and but it, it doesn't stay in there. It grows right. in and throughout you. Yes. It comes out in your conversations, oh, yes. your mannerisms, your countenance, everything. The way you changes. see, perceive. Yes. That's why when you look at things, right. they look new. They look new. Because yes. you knew. You <laughs> so your eyes are new, so you see new. You don't yeah. hear people say, don't be acting brave. Right. <laughs> but when you get the Holy Ghost, you are brand new. You are brand you are. new. Isn't that the truth? I like that. I'm going to have to use that one. Brand new. Be brand new. I'm going to have to use that. Be brand new. Use it. That's all I right. am so excited yes. about what the Impact District yes. is going to do. Yes. What New Christ Temple, the powerhouse of the, the East, East Side, side is doing. Yes. Yes. If you tuned in or if you're watching this by rebroadcast, hit the share button. Let this information be shared. And, and share yes. with anybody that will yes. want to come. Yes. This event is going to take place August 30th. That's a Wednesday, August 30th, starting at 5 o'clock. Yes. We have a workshop every night. That's August 30th, August 31st, and September 1st. That'll be the wrap up of the Holy Ghost Conference itself. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, starting okay. at 5 o'clock each evening with workshops. But what happens, uh, the climax of the whole weekend uh -huh. is going to be Sunday, mm -hmm. Sunday evening. That's going to be September 4th, okay. right? No, September 3rd, actually. Yes. September 3rd, Sunday. That's the night before Labor Day at 6 o'clock p.m. We okay. will be in our anointing back-to-school musical here at New Christ Temple. Okay. We will have the Ascension concert. Carell is going to be yes. singing. Yes. Uh, Justice Upshaw, Little Justice Upshaw. She's, She's a great. angelic. We She's have great. praise dancers, a lot of people. Yes. But what happens, our pastor mm -hmm. and the evangelist team is going to anoint the children and cover them before they go back to school and give them a bottle of blessed oil that they can take with them. So that's what we're giving. That's what we're bringing to the table. Right. So now what, we got, what are you going to bring? You know? What are bring, you gonna bring yourself, yourself? <laughs> to 10001 Hayes. Hayes. Now you said you all are going to be placing bottles of oil yes. on the altar. Haven't seen that much yes. since I was a little girl. Right. You know, the saints of old, if we bought blessed oil, we would buy olive oil, and we would bring it and say, yes. Pastor, can you pray? We didn't use the oil until Pastor prayed over it. Right. The man of God. Right. right and right. sometimes it would stay on the altar two or three weeks. Come on. And the prayer warriors, the pastor, the word of God yes. would go forth. And then yes. he would say, okay, it's ready. Yes. The oil is going to be laying in bottles across the altar all during the Holy Ghost Conference. So when the, the glory cloud comes in the room, when the praise team is singing, right. when the choir is singing, when all these awesome men and women of yes. God are coming forth, the workshops, all of this power in this place, amen, then we're going to pray over the children on that Sunday night. And we're going to give them these bottles of oil when they go. So they can bless themselves in the morning. 
Teach your children how to pray. Mm. Teach them to say, Lord, cover me when I go mm -hmm, to school. Mm -hmm. Lord, protect me when I go. Mm -hmm. uh, I taught my children to pray for themselves. We yes. prayed for them yes. also. My son would go to school. He mm -hmm. said, sometimes uh, I may have a problem in school. Mm -hmm. He said, I would bow my head and say, Lord, help me in my classroom. All three of them. I mean, God blessed them. He said, I would ace a test. And right. he know he didn't study sometimes. He was still praying. God gave it to him. Gave him grace. He gave him much grace because <laughs> now he has a he has a master's degree, right? Yes. So that grace. Oh yes. That oh, grace yes. was something. Oh yes. Grace so it's saw something him to that prayer. Yes, it is. That's right. So if you have students that are going to be going back to school, yes. you want your children to have a phenomenal school year. Yes. Bring them over here to the powerhouse of the East Side. Yes. New Christ Temple. That's one zero 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 one Hayes where the pastor, Loris Upshaw, is the pastor. Yes. First lady is Sister Stephanie Upshaw. Yes. This lady right here is the coordinator for the Holy Ghost Conference. Yes. This is your fifth, fifth year. Wow. The this number of grace. Number of grace, that's it. And we, God is going to grace us with his presence every night. He's going to grace you with to stay here, yes. Uh, the glory cloud. We want him just, just stay here, Lord. Just stay here. Just stay here with us. Now, did we talk about that cloud already? You, you talked about when you was little, right? Yeah. You said how they were. I you love out. it. I love it because, like I said, the glory cloud would come into the room, and I would hear the saints say, "Oh, the glory cloud is here," but I didn't see. I, I didn't know what they were talking about. I didn't see, but I see they would wipe their eyes and try to clear it so they could see, and I would see a lot of that going out, looking around, and like, what is? What are they talking about? So That's what awesome. happened when I was in a powerful service, and this was after the Lord filled me with the Holy Ghost, yes. because, I mean, every service is not the same. Right. But right. this was an exceptional service. Mm -hmm. The power of God came through here. It was just an awesome move of God. And I saw a mist, like a thick mist, all in the air. It wasn't down here. It was just up. Mm. And, all, and, and then I began to do this, too. And I remember, I said, oh, that, that's the glory The power. human part. Right. Was wondering right. what's something wrong with exactly. my eye. Exactly, right. But exactly. when you got in the spirit oh. and you just rested. Yes. And I was like, that is the glory cloud. And I could actually feel it. I mean, you could raise your hand and just feel it. Even right now, I'm serious. When I raise right. my hand, I'm right. feeling the tingling because what happened? The indwelling of Christ, the indwelling, you know, so you raise both hands, the indwelling. And right. man, we have prayed in this church. Wow. We have been fast. We have shut mm. in here. And the presence yes. of God, I thank God thank for the presence of God. I thank God. And I'm just, oh, I'm so excited. I tell you, I have been talking about this Holy Ghost Conference for months. And you should be. <laughs> I've been talking about it for months. Yes. If you're right there and you're tuned in, I do not want to tune out or tune off without allowing her to pray for somebody that might tune in to this broadcast. Yes. I don't know what you're going through, what yes. you're dealing with. Yes. But until you make it to the Holy Ghost Conference, I want her to be able to leave you with a prayer, something that's going to help sustain you and encourage you. Yes. But make your way to the powerhouse of the East Side. Yes. That's one zero, zero zero one, Hayes, New Christ Temple. Sister Vanessa. Yes. Go as God leads you. Oh, Father, we thank you right now, God. Thank I you, thank God. you right now, Lord. Thank, thank you, you Lord. I thank you for what you have done. Thank you, God, for allowing us an opportunity to come to your people today. All souls are mine, you said in your word, but the soul that sent it, it shall die. God, I thank you now for life. God, I thank you for life. God, cover mm -hmm. that mind, God. Cover that young woman right now, Lord. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus, name cover her Jesus. right now, God. In the name of Jesus. That, that Jesus. The one that has no hope, God, we ask you to cover right now, Lord. Cover. Touch right now, God. That man, God, hallelujah. Yes. That man that has to go yes, tomorrow God. for his test results, God. Yes, God. We ask you, oh God, to go before him, Lord, it, oh in the name of Jesus. Go before him, God. Yes, God. Pave the way for him now, God, it, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Help Jesus. him to stretch out by faith yes. that when he gets there, that all is well, yes, in the God. name of Jesus. That he got the report, but when he gets back, that the report will be changed yes. in his favor, yes. in the name of Jesus. Yes. God, we thank you now for this woman of God. Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for this broadcast. God, we, we thank you for all that you have done, God. We know, we know yes, that God. this is reaching the masses now you, in the name of Jesus. Name her of work Jesus. is, her labor is not in vain you, in the Lord. God, we thank you now. Thank you, thank you for what you've done. Thank, thank you for Jesus. what you're going to do. Yes, God, God, until they get here in this Holy Ghost Conference, yes, that God. you will sustain them. Sustain you will cover them in your blood, God. Oh, God. In the name of Jesus. Every feet that they're Jesus. placed, 
every place that their feet will try, that you will cover them now, God. In the name of Jesus, give them favor now, and we bless your name, and we thank you for what you have done. In the name of Jesus, and it is so. It is so now. It is so in Jesus' name. It is so. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless your name, Lord. Bless your name. Hallelujah. <laughs> you can Bless get your praise in. Yes. Uh, yes, yes, yes. You go ahead. Oh, yes. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. This is, uh, this is awesome. I'm telling you. But this is awesome. Ooh. This is awesome. With my head lifted up. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. And my heart filled with praise. Oh, yes. With the heart of thanksgiving. With the heart of thanksgiving. Oh, yes. I, I will. Bless you. Bless you. I will bless thee, oh Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I will, I will bless thee, oh Lord. I will bless thee, oh Lord. With the heart of thanksgiving. With the heart of thanksgiving. I will, I will bless thee, oh Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. We bless you, Jesus. Bless your name, God. Hallelujah. 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 This is just yes, a God. sound. Just a yes, yes. Of what you get. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just a lick in the ball. Yes, yes. Of yes. what you can expect. Hallelujah. If you come to one zero 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 one yes. Hey, to the Holy Ghost Conference. That's going to be Wednesday. August 31st through September the 1st. That's Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Yes. You got Pastor Alexander, Prophetess Bussell, Bishop Michael Hill. Yes. And then yes. they're going to come back that Sunday night at 6 o'clock. Yes. It's going to be a back-to-school anointed musical. musical. Yes. yes. And they're going to pass out anointed oil. Yes. yes. And then that Monday morning after that service oh, at yes. 9 o'clock. Yes. What do you everywhere. want them to do again? Nine o'clock, everywhere, wherever you are, whatever neighborhood you live in, we want you to get up, put your blessed oil in spray bottles. We want you to go to every neighborhood school. Call your friends, your neighbors, your church members, tell them everywhere to go to the schools. Walk around the school and mark the territory that these children belong Come on. to God. Come on. Mark the territories that the enemy cannot have these Come schools, on. that these schools will not yes. close. Our children need these schools open. Walk around and pray around the grounds yes. and spray, amen, that God will bless and cover our children. Yes. This is going to be an awesome year for these children. You Mark the territory That's for it. the Lord. That's Mark it. the territory. That's it. They're going to come to the Holy Ghost Conference. Yes. They're going to be marked in the spirit. Yes. Yes. They're going to be imparted in the spirit. In the spirit, yes. They're going to mark the territory, and the two territories are going to come together. Ooh, impact. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Wow. That's it. That's it. And this is what you're going to get in the Impact District. Yes. So, yes. hey, come to Agape Southwest. Yes. Under Bishop Isaac King. Yes. Check out this district. All right. Evangelist, missionary, Vanessa Slack. Yes. And Superintendent Lawrence Upshaw. Yes. Impact District. Impact District. I thank you so much thank for you. coming on. This you know, I don't, I don't went over time again. That's all right. But, see, here's the thing. <laughs> when you're talking about something good, yes. something that is of importance yes. and that can make an indelible change in somebody's life. Right. It's hard to cut it off. It is. It is. And it's time, hard. Is, time, you know, time just passes by. Because when you're talking about the goodness of the Lord and what he's done, what is time? You know, God is time. He stepped yeah. out of time into time, so he is time. So go ahead. Put your hand no, behind no, your no. <laughs> Oh, time is on my side. Ooh, Let me start it up now. <laughs> Listen, hey, it has yes. been a delight having you. Pleasure. And I'm listen, you. I'm not just saying this. Yes. I want you to come back again. Oh, yes, definitely. I want you to come back when you get ready to do Impact District. Yes. I would be honored to come back you. Yes. and you share. Come. I know Impact oh, District is going to do something phenomenal. Great. I'm looking Especially forward. that first meeting. Mm -hmm. I want to have the honor of right. giving them a 30 minute. All right. And I want you and Pastor Upshaw to come. Yes. And I want y'all to let me know yes. what y'all want to do. Yes. Come back and share it with Facebook yes. and those that are listening. I'm looking forward to it. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you, my I sister. I you. love you. This is awesome. God is awesome. Yes, and God is awesome in you. Yes, I thank God. God for the impact. Thank you. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, you've been listening to Right Where You Are. Yes. My guest today has been Vanessa Massey. 
God bless you. And I'm calling her. Yeah, you are Vanessa Massey. No, you you are Vanessa Slack. Yes. Lord. Vanessa Massey is on there. That's all right. Tune in this Thursday. Yes. Next Tuesday. You know what, ladies and gentlemen? I'm so excited. That's all right. She got me messed up up in here. <laughs> Listen, ladies and gentlemen, I might as well just come back and sit down. That's all right. Come, come back and sit down and say it. Tune in. I don't even give you my information. If you like to be on right where you are. Yes. I need you to just send me an email, Rita at rightwhereyouare.org. Yes. If you'd like to be on the show, you have some information or an event that you would like to share. Yes. I'd be more than happy to come to you, give you 30 minutes of time to share with the Facebook community, yes. the church at large, and just our public community. That's right. Yes. And go to that Facebook page, Rita at Right Where You Are. Also, I want you to know that this coming Tuesday, We'll be in Saginaw, Michigan, yes. and our um, interview is going to be with that phenomenal Hurley J. Coleman yes. and his wife. Yes. They're going to be celebrating a 60-year anniversary wow. for the church Beautiful. in Saginaw. And we want you to tune in. That's Tuesday at 3.30, yes. and that's going to be Pastor Hurley J. Coleman, Jr. of Saginaw, Michigan. Well, today my guest again has been the phenomenal, yes. the anointed, God-appointed, Holy Ghost field. <laughs> yes. District missionary. All right, all right. Vanessa Slack from the Impact right. District. Yes. Now, I'm going to try this again. I'm going to try to walk over there, and I'm going to try to walk off. Right. And I'm going to let you I'm gonna let you say something to them while I go. But thank you for tuning in to right where you are. Yes, all roads, all avenues, all street leads to 10001 Hayes. In Detroit, Michigan, August 30th, 31st, and September 1st, starting at 5 o'clock p.m. for our fifth annual Holy Ghost Conference. And I want to see you there. Thank you.